Yes, hello everyone. Welcome again to the analysis of this channel. Now, today I just want to have courage enough and I want to be bold so that this topic must be well understood with all those who are watching this video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as far as we are concerned with the politics across the Republic of Kenya, it is for a long period of time that we have discussed the politics of William Ruto and Raila Odinga. One day, I said it in this channel when I was analyzing certain video, that those who are going to lose big in this election it is not Raila or Uhuru Kenyatta. It is those who have come out to vote for the leaders that they prefer that must lead this Republic of Kenya. One thing that I have realized, it is for long decades that Kikuyus and Kalenjins, they have been always on a limelight when it comes to the politics of the Republic of Kenya since independence. One thing that I want to say, who is this person that is remembering the politics and the reign of Daniel Moy? In fact, when you look at the process and the way Moy conducted his politics was a politics of dictatorship, a politics of one party state, a politics that you could have not even say anything regarding to what your opinion and the freedom of speech is. But I want to let this point to be well understood across the Republic of Kenya. When William Samaruto started his politics in 2013, it was believed that William Ruto, after the retiring of Uhuru Kenyatta, William Samaruto was going to start his uh, um, bid to presidency. As far as we are concerned, he came out bold enough to explain to certain Kenyans who are willing to understand his ideologies and agendas across the Republic of Kenya. With the information that I have, it seems that the information of William Samuto was well understood and well captured in the Mount Kenya region. And one thing that we know, Kikuyus are the ones that are living in the Mount Kenya region. When you see the wave of William Samuto in the Mount Kenya region, then I ask myself a certain question here. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto has taken over your politics, you Kikuyus. And as far as you are concerned with your political career, I want to say it very precisely. If you don't mind this point, I mean your political career, you have thrown it in the den of lion. And I want to describe it like this. If you are expecting to recapture that seat, if William Samurut is going to the, be the president of the Republic of Kenya, then mark my words, you will never capture the seat. And this is the plan that William Ruto has planned for a long period of time. And you know one thing, who is remembering about the politics of 2007? When William Samuruto came out, disbangling this politics of Kikuyus across the Republic of Kenya, while they were together with Raila Odinga, they, come, they came up with this narrative that Kikuyus had already ruled this country for a long period of time. So for them was to take over. So what is this thing that now can make William Samaruto to be trusted in Mount Kenya region than even Raila Odinga? It means that after William Ruto, the way he, had, he has already taken over the politics of Mount Kenya region. In fact, I don't see the celebration that Kikuyus are seeing. If it is the celebration, it means that the Kikuyus 
has already lacked something. What is this thing that they lack? The real leadership. I mean, Rigadi Gashagwa cannot offer real leadership in terms to what Kikuyus are looking for. Because when it comes to real leadership, there are people that can have that real, real leadership when it comes to the politics of Mount Kenya region. But as far as we are concerned, I want to say it. Wait until that day, William Samaruto will be sworn in carrying the Bible and taking over from Uhuru Kenyatta, then you will know the real colors of William Samuel Ruto. Why am I saying that? You know, Skikuyus do understand that after William Samuel Ruto's presidency of 2022 to 2027, if in case court will rule on their favor, they believe that 100% sure that after William Samuel Ruto Rigadi Gashago is going to take over. I want to say it here without any fear of contradiction. Take it to the bank. Rigadi Gashago is going to be not William Samuruto's preferred candidate. Why am I saying this? Expect the differences between Rigadi Gashago and William Ruto. And this is what I said in the, in the thumbnail, assassination loading. Because it is likely for Rigadi Gashagwa to be so disparate, so defiant in the government of William Samuruto. And remember, this thing William Ruto has already planned, that Kikuyus will never come back again in the leadership of the Republic of Kenya. And this is how he's going to do it. He is going to ensure that Rigadi Gashago will be no more when it comes to the politics in 2032. Then this, William Samuruto has managed to put Mount Kenya as far as he is concerned as a one region party state. Yani, amehakikisha that UDA is popular in Mount Kenya region. Why does he make this process to be successful? It is because William Samuruto for his long period of decade, since he started his president should be. He has never acknowledged and accepted the, any political party in Mount Kenya region, including that political party of, um, of Moses Kuria, the political party of uh, William Kabogo, the political party of Mwangi Kiunjuri. And these are the things that he managed to do it very well. And you see, I wonder, why is it that Kikuyus are celebrating? You are celebrating uh, about the, the political party of Kalenians. This is a political party of Kalenians. You will never convince anyone seeing that UDA is a political party from Mount Kenya region. I mean, Mount Kenya region is having their political parties. Party like Jubilee that they have said that has died a long time ago. They're having their political party, party of Mwangi Kiunjuri, William Kabogo, Moses Kuria, and all those political parties. Why can't Kikuyus come out to build their political parties? In fact, those leaders who are celebrating people like Ndidi Nyoro, people like Shungwa, some people are just celebrating the, uh, the victory of William Samuruto. They don't understand William Samuruto. In fact, those people who have been in the politics for a long period of time, they understand who is William Samaruto. People like Uru Kenyatta, they do understand who is William Samaruto. People like Nini Nyoro, they don't understand anything. They're just uh, emotional when it comes to the way they won election. In fact, through rigging. And one thing that I want to say, Kikuyus, you will suffer. You will suffer. If you will not organize your house. Because so far, I want to say this. When it comes to Nyanza region, Nyanza region is strongly under ODM party. Take it to the bank. Someone might agree. When it comes to Kambani, is strongly under wiper party. Take it to the bank and other regions. But what if Kikuyus has, uh, they have not come out to prepare their political parties? So it means that tomorrow, any candidate will want to vie for any seat, but you are going to be shortchanged. Then that is the process how someone will come out to assassinate his fellow friend, you know?
who told you that Rigathi Gashogo is going to take over in case this Kego court is going to favor uh, their victory. So for me, I don't think if the decision that Kikuyu's has made in terms of their political career in Mount Kenya region, this is nothing to celebrate on. You're celebrating about the victory of William Somoruto. This is a mafia man. He's a person that if you understand him very well, take it to the man, mark my words. Those people who, who are going to manage all those things, he, he, these are his people. These are his people. You will not rule. I want to tell you, Kikuyus, you will not rule as long as William Samurutu is going to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. If court is going to say that he won election free and fair, take it to the bank. So when you celebrate, celebrate carefully because there's something that will come that will haunt you till you will suffer politically speaking. So William Ruto, with regard to Gashagwa, expect division that is going to be there because regard to Gashagwa is so defiant. He's a man of defiant men. So for him, he will not agree with the decision that William, William Ruto will make. Kikuyus are going to be shortchanged by the William Ruto Samuel Ruto. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. I, I want to say thank you so much because of your love. Thank you so much because of your support. If you're a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. Now, bye-bye till you meet on another video.